Hi everybody, it's Susan Mershon. Thanks for coming back to my second video blog. We're trying something new today since my last, or my first, I should say, last and first video blog wasn't the best uh, quality as far as picture. So we're trying something new today and I can tell you it really is a production to put together one of these uh, videos, but it's all part of the process. So today's topic is really on something called trusted partners. And I think this is something that everybody in the VA industry really needs to understand. I actually coined this phrase, trusted partners, and basically what a trusted partner is, is someone that can fill in as you when you need to step away from your business, whether it's for illness or vacation or some kind of family emergency. Uh, you don't want to leave your clients hanging without anybody to do the work that they need. You need to give them an option to say, okay, I've got someone who can step in and do the work while I'm out of the office. Because what happens is a lot of times when we have to step away from the business, you may not have somebody there for your clients, but your clients, your business needs to continue to go on. So you need to find someone that you trust, hence the word trusted partner, to step in for you. So why do you need them? You need them to be able to take care of your clients when you're away from the office. Again, what for whatever reason. And as I mentioned, you, you really need to take time away in order to rejuvenate, regenerate, and, and just not burn out. So vacation is really something um, that's something that you can use a trusted partner for. Anyway, so we know why we need one. The next thing is, is where do you find a trusted partner? And a trusted partner can be somebody that you know personally that's in the VA industry. You can have uh, somebody that maybe you've met on social media that you have a connection with. Um, it can be someone that you've worked with in uh, maybe a program or maybe someone you've worked with on a team for a client. But basically, it needs to be somebody that you trust to act as you. They need to have similar skills as you. And I know a lot of you that are just starting out, this could be something that's a little frightening. But the nice thing is, is that this is something you can grow into. So finding a trusted partner should be on your list of to-dos. And this is something I talk about um, in some of the trainings that I do because I feel it's very important. Because the last thing, again, you want to do is leave your clients hanging and not have a way to get their work done. If that happens, a lot of times clients will go find a new virtual assistant and then you've lost a client to no fault of your own. The other thing is, is that it's very important to, to explain to your client what a trusted partner is. So once you find one, you know, you want to really get to know this person and you want to trust them and you want to explain how the whole process works. I actually had three trusted partners when I was a full-time VA and we kind of filled in for each other. Um, if we were going to go on vacation, we let each other know so we could put it in our calendars. I also introduced them to my clients and said, this person, you know, Jane Doe here is my trusted partner. Here's what she does. Here's why I have her. And here's her contact information. And I would actually put together a meeting so my clients were comfortable with being able to, you know, give my trusted partners work if I was unavailable. Because let's face it, life is unpredictable, right? I know... Um, I had pneumonia not too long ago, and not that I'm a trust, uh, not that I'm a full-time VA, but it took me out um, for a solid 10 days before I could even get out of bed. So at that point, you shouldn't be working. You know, I've heard of people working from their hospital bed. <laughs> no, you have to take care of you in order to take care of everything else. So having that trusted partner will take some stress off of you as well. So first thing you need to do is find somebody that you trust, and you can have multiple trusted partners. Second thing is you need to let your clients know, hey, I have someone that can help you if I'm out of the office and here's how you contact them and here's their information. And then you actually um, introduce them to your clients as well. So they know how to contact them. Of course, you want to let your clients know when you're not available so they know to go to the trusted partner. You don't just want to stop communicating. Um, if you have great relationships with your clients, you know, tell them the truth. You know, I'm, I'm on vacation. My trusted partner is going to handle it. Um, my business if you have an emergency or something while I'm gone. So having one of these trusted partners is such a great thing to have. You do want to have an agreement, whether it's a subcontractor agreement, you know, how do you pay them if they do work for you? I mean, that's something that you have to determine, but you do need to have those confidentiality agreements, those agreements in place because they're working in your business with your clients and that's confidential information. So you want to make sure those agreements are signed. And if you want to pay your 
trusted partners for their time, that's certainly something you can do. It really depends on the relationship. So what's a trusted partner? A trusted partner is somebody that you want to be able to step into your business when you have to step away. And two, it's somebody that your clients can go to if they need to get work done while you're unavailable instead of just leaving your clients hanging. So this is all about trusted partners. If you have any questions, you can certainly um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my website at uh, www.thetechieminner.com. And you're welcome to leave comments below here on this video uh, on my YouTube channel, or you can certainly comment on my website and I'll be happy to answer questions for you. So thanks again for being here today. This is my second official video blog. Um, and I, once again, I'm still fearful, but I'm still pushing through and I know it's not perfect. And in fact, you could hear my phone making noises probably in the background, so I forgot to turn it off. But still push forward and really look at getting a trusted partner. Even if you've just started your business, put it on your to-do list. And if you've been in business for some time, definitely reach out to somebody that you feel that could be that trusted partner for you and have that relationship. And again, make sure your clients understand who they are, what they're for, and your clients will appreciate the fact that you've gone the extra mile to take care of them when you're out of the office and not leaving them um, with not somebody to go to and help them out. So I publish these video blogs every Wednesday, and I think now I find the method I want to do it with, with um, this whole setup that I'm using now. And I'm also going to start publishing um, the techie tips too, so that'll be coming this week. Um, so look for that, but please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all kinds of great stuff about the virtual assistant business, as well as the technology that you need to support your online business clients. So thanks again, I will see you next week. Have a wonderful day, bye.